السلام علیکم اے ون ون نائن تھری السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ہاؤ آر یو گڈ الحمد للہ سو ریڈ پیئر بائی یور سیلف شیل آئی ریڈ یو ول فالو You tried really well and read really well. So just a couple of mistakes of elongation, but we are um, going to revise uh, the same um, topic today. Inshallah, it will be improved. Jazakallah a lot. So A1193, Inshallah, I will come back to you during the class when we are practicing. Jazakallah. so for a couple days uh, ago just day before yesterday you have gone through all the etiquettes of the class and the stuff so i'll request a couple of students are just um, sending requests to share the remote control uh, so uh, please uh, don't play up uh, with any of the buttons or ids just concentrate uh, in the class and learn what we are revising and then we will do practice because um, these interpretations uh, are just interruptions are just cause bit problem and uh, teacher and other people struggle uh, those who are in charge so i uh, hope uh, nobody is going to uh, put their videos on and not um, unnecessarily uh, pressing any button jazakumullah so as you are here for learning the holy quran so don't take this class uh, like a normal uh, online classes because you are here to learn the word of allah the almighty and this is a chance for us uh, to practice and uh, learn the rules to uh, read the book of allah the almighty uh, with correct pronunciation so please concentrate and uh, just focus uh, what the teacher is saying and if i am saying anything to any of the students um, we should all listen uh, carefully because uh, these are the things which are useful for us okay today we are going to uh, do practice regarding madda and it is mean elongation it's a normal elongation one so means uh, to lengthen or to prolong and in arabic the three letters of uh, are called huruful madda which are alif waw and ha uh, uh, and ya and uh, we call them alif madda waw madda and ya madda and they are uh, how we recognize them because not all alif waw and ya are madda letters so if alif is preceded with a consonant carrying the stroke of fatha then that alif is alif madda same waw madda is always preceded with a consonant carrying the stroke of dhamma and ya madda is always preceded with a consonant carrying the stroke of kasra so here are the examples like first one is waw with sukun and uh, it's preceded by uh, kas uh, dhamma so we will along this when uh, we have alif madda waw madda and ya madda we along that sound up to 2 second so this one become first one is u and then uh, here is ya madda because ya uh, with sukun is preceded by kasra stroke so it will be t and next one we have alif madda because this is preceded by a consonant which is carrying fatha then it will be na so we prolong that sound of madda up to 2 second it will be u ti na 
same next one is urina and the next one is no so please be mindful we are going to do practice uh, first we will uh, practice a few words and then we will practice direct from the text of the holy quran so just keep in mind if you have simple alif without any stroke but it is followed by uh, preceded by a consonant which carries stroke of patha slanted line above a letter then that alif is alif madda and will prolong that sound up to two seconds and if vow madda is the vow with sukoon which is preceded by kasra stroke and ya madda is uh, ya with sukoon or ya sakin preceded by a stroke of kasra okay um I request my um, uh, co-host if unmute one of the students so we just start practicing for the Madda letters. Okay, um, now I'm going to unmute N1274. N1274. Aslam Nikum. Welcome, Aslam. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Fine. Zizakila for asking. So, will it be okay for you to start from the first line? Yes. Okay. Please carry on. Um. <sighs> yeah. Uh. uh. Okay, so uh, uh, just uh, is the screen clear for, to you? Yes. Okay. So we are starting from here. Ah. Uh, yeah. La me. Yeah. So can you uh, just a bit let me know why uh, we along the la sound? Because uh, um. There's an alif after the lamb, and before the alif, the lamb has a fatta. Excellent. Well done, mashallah. So, you know uh, uh, that this is a madda one, and we are going to give it two seconds. Well done, mashallah. So, carry on, please. Read the second one. Mm -hmm. Can you read it once more, please? So, yeah. yeah, over here, we because we have wow, uh, madda, so we are elonging that ku sound bit more. Can you try it once more, please? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, well done. So just uh, be mindful. The, the last who is just one second. So it will be fa al -quhu. Fa, fa al -quhu. Well done. Next one, please. <clears throat> mo. Mo. Yeah. Mo be non. Try one once more. Mubi nun. Yeah, so uh, the uh, last noon has uh, the matain uh, to the ma uh, or the meat. So it will be Mubi nun. Mubi nun. nun. Yeah, nun. So it will be uh, the ma, so a bit rounded way. Nun. So inshallah, we will uh, revise it uh, again. So we will do it. So, but your madda sound is quite right, and you are longing it up to two seconds. Keep on practicing. Jazakallah and one two seven four. Jazakallah, lafiz. Lafiz. Okay. So the next, I'm going to unmute a one two one two. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. How are you? 
Good. Alhamdulillah. Do you understand about which thing we are practicing today? Yes. Okay. So can you start? Please start reading from here. Well done. Excellent. Next one. Well done. Next, please. Can you try it once more, please? Because it's a Shadda one. We had just practiced it before. Well done. Excellent. Jazakallah. A1212. Mashallah. Both students who uh, tried uh, read really well. So if, if you just concentrate and keep on practicing at home, it will uh, really help a lot and inshallah we will improve. So I'm going to unmute A1193. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can you start from the second line, please? Olivna. Next one. Next. Musa. Yeah. Rahimun. Well done, mashallah. You tried really well. Uh, just uh, it's not related to Madda, but uh, whenever Ra has uh, Fatha, we uh, pronounce it bit rounded or thick sound. So it will be Rahimun. Rahimun. Yeah, and just keep in mind of all students, whenever we are uh, uh, reading Alif Madda, Wa Madda, and Ya Madda. Uh, we prolong that sound up to two seconds. Jazakallah, mashallah, you tried and re read really well. Jazakallah. Uh, okay, next time I'm going to unmute N1283. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good, how are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. Jazakallah for asking. Okay, can you start reading from the fourth letter in the second line, please? A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Falakha mufsiduna tajri This one. Okay. Can can you read again from uh, the uh, fourth letter, please? Word. Please. Okay. So, so first one, uh, when we have simple stroke, we just give one second. So you read ba uh, quite right when you give it one second, and the la again we are going to give one one second because it's a simple patta stroke. So it will be bala, and then ra is two second because it's a lift matta. Can you read it once more, please? Yeah. <laughs> Zakla, mashallah, we've been trying really well and uh, reading quite well. So um, next day, uh, I'll request my co-host to give mic to one of the students, please. Yeah, next student is A1198. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Fine. Zakla, for asking. Can you start reading from the last line, please? Askala. Can you try once more, please? Askala ha. Okay, first, uh, just to rectify, this sound is fur sound, bit thin, thin sound, and you pronounce it when flow of air comes first, and then the sound of the letter. So instead of us, it is askala ha. So bit thin sound, and the tip of your tongue touches your upper teeth, flow of your come first and then the sound of letter. So bit thin sound. Can you try it once more, please? Afkal Well done. So 
again uh, when you are reading um, last ha it's a thin ha not the thick ha uh, so just try to uh, try it once more you are giving proper time though afqalaha well then next one yafkuhuna once more please yafkuhu kahuna yeah now you rectify the stroke of ka next one <sighs> naimun once more please naimun well then excellent mashallah you tried very well and you know how to pronounce and how to elongate and you are giving proper time to the sound mashallah it, it seems uh, everybody is practicing so far who have learned uh, who have read jazakallah a1198 can I have next student please jazakallah ala hafiz la hafiz yes the next student is n1274 uh she she has read already she's read it okay. yeah okay so next one will be a1214 assalam alaikum a1214 sakam wa alaikum assalam how are you good alhamdulillah can you start reading from the fourth letter and the last line please yes word sorry andarna okay can can you read it once more and just be mindful this the za sounding bit thin one so um, yeah dar na yeah well then so this one is adar uh, na next um, one uh, na you see do na well then next Khalidina, can you try to read once more, please? Because it has two letters of Madda. Khali, ha, Khalidi, ha, Khalidina. Well done. So we are ha two second, li one, and then di two second, and then na one second. So it will be Khalidina. Can we have next student, please? Yes, next student is N one two nine nine. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm good. Alhamdulillah. So now, uh, first we have practiced from the slide the same words taken from the text of the Holy Quran. Now we are a uh, simple uh, text uh, in on the screen. Everybody is saying so. We are going to uh, practice verse of, direct from the text of the Holy Quran. So, uh, if you just read the highlighted part in first line, please. Okay. Amanu. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Amanu. Can you try it once more, please? Amanu. Well done. Okay. Okay, bro. Next one. Kalu amanna. Well done. And the next highlighted part, please. Wa iza halaba zuhum. Can you try to read it once more, please? Waiza hala ba hala ba ba zuhum. Yeah, well done. So over here, when you read the first letter, you give proper uh, time to madda. So it seems you know uh, how much time we are going to letters of madda, which are alif madda, wa madda, and ya madda. So next one, which is not highlighted one, allu, because it has madda sign, this curvy line. So we give uh, this sign, the thin one, curvy line, uh, from three to five second, and the same line if we come the thick one, like this highlight this one. This one we give this line uh, elongation up to four to six second. Inshallah, we'll practice a bit more about this uh, these stroke 
but again, this is Madhatul Sagir and Madhatul Kabir. But uh, again, today we are just practicing about uh, simple Alif Madha, Vau Madha, and Ya Madha. That's why we are not stressing much upon. But just I am going through because it's uh, this letter had been read. So if you have thin curvy line, we along that letter from three to five seconds. And if the thick curvy line, we along that uh, sound up to four to six seconds. Okay. And over here, the noon with Shadda. So we uh, produce proper two second nasal sound and then along it. So this nasal sound was a bit missing. Otherwise, you along it quite well. And over here, this khala is la is the letter of madda because alif preceded by uh, fatta so uh, give proper two second time which you missed in couple of uh, time but last time you read it quite well so uh, mashallah you tried really well you know the rules just keep on practicing but uh, you re read really well jazakallah jazakallah dafis dafis can we have next student please yep next student is N one two nine six. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. Can you start reading from the second line, the highlighted part, please? Okay. Auzubillahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Atu hazi. A bit slight. Okay. Can, can you try it once more? Because after ha, this is dal. Okay. So can can you uh, read uh, from the beginning atu haddi and read till uh, the uh, end of the line, please. Bazin kalu atu hazilu so. Okay, uh, so I will read and then you will read after me. Uh, but first, uh, if you let me know after ha, which uh, letter this one is? Dal. Dal. So dal sound is the, not za. So can you? And start reading again from the A. Atu haddi suna hum. Atu haddi suna hum. Ima. Ima fataha. Till the end. Ha. Hala. Hu alaykum. Well then. You read really well. Just, just a uh, little bit whenever uh, we break our breath uh, we can't start from the middle or end of the letter we start from the beginning of letter and there, there are certain rules inshallah we will uh, carry on uh, so like here fataha if you stop here uh, then uh, again you are joining with uh, Allah word then we will read it fataha wahu. so but you read mashallah really well so you know the rule First, just be mindful and just see quickly which letter it is. You read really well, but just little mixture of dal and zal. So, but mashallah, you know how to along that. So keep on practicing. Jazakallah. And one, two, nine, six. Can we have next student, please? Yes, it is N1272. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good, how are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. Um, just give me a moment. Uh, can you start reading from here, please? Can you read the whole line? Okay. Can you read once more from the last set and read till here? Samana 
Kalila. Okay. When you are reading uh, in a one go, Samanan Kalila. Because we read it Samana when we are stopping over it. Can you read it once more, please? Samana Kalila. So over here, Noon has two Fatta, Fatta time. So it will be Samanan Kalila if we are reading in one go these both words. But if you are stopping on Samana, the Samana, uh, Samanan letter, then we will read it Samana. Okay, can, can you read the both letters together, please? Samana Kalila. Okay, so can, can you see these uh, strokes? Do you know which stroke this one is over na? Um, Noon? Patatain. Patatain. So, uh, there's, uh, how we pronounce these one? Do you remember any idea? Um, I forgotten. Yeah. So, whenever you have two uh, patta, two kasura, two dhamma, it's a nasal sound. So, it will be samanan. Samanan. Yeah. So, uh, if you read it samana, it means you are stopping on this letter. If, if you are stopping and the last word has the pata, then it will be read it like samana. But if you are reading samana, kalila, both letters together, then you produce the tanween sound. So can you read it once more, please? Samana, kalila. So it will be, you are stopping on la. Over here, it's lan. So it will be la. Because you are stopping and taking breath. Kalila. But if you are reading the next letter with that, then it will be Kalilan. Inshallah, we will practice and uh, go through the rules again of the Nveen. But it's just because it comes up. And that's why. Mashallah, you write really well. So it seems you are practicing and you know all the rules. Mashallah, well done. And one, two, seven, two. Can we have next student, please? Yes, next student is A1236. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum Aslam. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah. Can you start reading from here, please? Okay. Well, why? Okay. This, uh, I'm sure you have read uh, Tawdun Tasmiya. So everybody who is... Uh, reading even a word first we say Auzu Billahi Bismillah complete Auzu Billahi Bismillah Shaitan Rajeem Bismillah Irama Birahim Fawai Lillah Umdi Dima Katam Fat Okay Wait here, because we have uh, this meme with Mushaddad, so two second nasal sound. So, can you read after me just this part? Pawai lulla humni. Pawai lulla humni. La humimma. Pawai. Yeah. Next one, highlighted one. Yeah. I D him. I Okay. So uh, read, read after me. Ba vai lola hum. Okay, well then, mashallah, you tried really well. Keep on practicing. And uh, whenever you are practicing at home, just try uh, some adult is sitting by you. But mashallah, you tried really well. The gunna sound. And you know how to along and where to along a letter. Mashallah. Jazakallah, A1236. And we have next student, please. Yes, next student is N1289. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? 
I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. Can you start reading from here, please? Bala man kosab sab sajia kun. Okay. So, um, hopefully, you have done thousand tasmiya. And be mindful, it's a sayi a a is just one second because it's simple fatta. Can you start from the beginning, please? Auz billah min shaitan rajim bismillahi rahmani rahim. Ba bala man kots kosaba. So scene is simple. Scene don't have shadda. So simple we produce separate sound. Kosaba kosaba saj sajia sajia tan tan tanwa aha. Aha, that 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 be he over the here the u sound because uh, the next word don't have any sukun or any stroke, so we just ignore it. This is a blank wall. So, faula ika. Faula ika. Yeah. Ashabul bunari. Ashabunar. Ashabunar. Because we have small g, it's a workful jais. Whether we stop or not, it's hard, but it's better to stop over here. Mashal, I tried really well. Just be mindful of the stroke and you know where to long and not. Just a bit more practice. And when you are practicing at home, try to read three, four uh, words together. And then, inshallah, with more practice, you will read the whole verse together. Mashal, I tried really well. Jazakallah. Can you have next? Love face. Love face. Next one is N1293. Aslam Likum N1293. Aslam Likum. Can you have next student, please? Aslam Likum. No, Walikum Slam. You are here. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. Zakla for asking. Can you start reading from here, please? What? What is what is Khazna? Okay. Uh, have you done Auzu Billah and Bismillah? Auzu Billah in a shaitan in a rajim. Bismillah in a rahman in a rahim. What is a Khazna? Na, a bit longer, two seconds. Na. Misa, Misa, Gabani, Isra, I, La. So la, this La, La, just one second. La. And next La, two second. La. So it will be Isra, I, La, La. Isra ilala. Next one. Ta buduna il illala. Well done. Huh? So I tried really well. Just a bit over this one, this curvy line. Inshallah, we'll practice uh, in our next lessons. Just be mindful. If the thin curvy line, if we elongate it out from three to five seconds up to how long you do it. And the thick one is up to four to six seconds. But mashallah, you tried really well. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. And can you have next student? Love face. Can you have next student, please? Yes, next student is... A one two one four. Islam, Waalaikum Islam. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So we we'll practice. Can you start reading? 
from here, please. This highlighted part in the next line, yeah. the last line. Sorry. Wakulu lina sihus na na. Yeah, you write uh, read it quite well. You are ma making a stop or pause over here, but if you are joining with the next letter, how you read it? Okay, you read this part quite well. It's "qi" is uh, two second long, but the next one, if "bow" has uh, no a uh, sukun, uh, only a lift has no stroke and it's preceded by fatta then it's a letter of matta but vow and ya if they have sukun and they are vow preceded by dhamma and ya preceded by kasra then we elongate it up to two seconds but over here vow is blank so we just give mu sound only one second so it will be aqimu yeah well done Ashal, you read really well. Keep on practicing and listen to the previous lessons as well. Jazakallah. Yeah. Can we have next student, please? Yeah. Next student is A1202. Two tads. Aslam Likum. Two tads, Lilia. A1202. Aslam Likum. Wa alaikum aslam. But and what? So sorry, is A one two zero two? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. So this is a bit noisy. I can't hear. Okay. Uh, can you start from the first line? You can read the highlighted part, please. A'uzu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Yakadul barku yak yakta. Okay. Can you read it? From the beginning once more, and uh, because it's ka is alif is uh, in ka is letter of matta, so we elongate up to two seconds. Yaka dul dul barat ku yak yak tafu absarahum. Well then, excellent. That quite well. Jazakallah. A one two zero two. Can we have next student, please? Yes, the next is N1272. Hi. Assalamu alaikum. So it's N1272. Yeah? Auntie. Yeah. I will be had to show. Oh, okay, that's fine. Jazakallah for telling. Can we have next student, please? Sorry about that. The next student is a. One two zero one. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. Jazakallah for asking. Can you start reading from here, the second line, highlighted part, please? Walosha Allah. Yeah. Next one. Next line. La sahaba bi sam samihim fa absarihim in Can you start? Uh, can you uh, read uh, from the beginning and stop on absarihim? Because uh, over here, just we have simple strokes. So every letter in first word, we are giving one second time. Can you start from? Third line, please. Yeah. Oh, From here, the take one. La. Good. Okay. Uh, so these are the simple strokes. No letter of madda, nothing elongation. So just every word, every letter, just one second. La zahaba. La zahaba. La zahaba. Yeah, next one. Be some ehim va absa dehim. Well done. 
ya. Yes. Okay. You you want to read the next word and next word sample, next part. In Allah, Allah, kulli shay in. Yeah, we finish till then over here. The ruku sign. Oh dear. Well done. Excellent. Mashallah, you tried really, really well. Keep on practicing. Jazakallah. Can we have next student, please? Yes, next student is N one two seven four. Assalamualaikum. Uh, no, oh, she has read. Oh, can we have next student, please? Sorry. No. Sorry. Next student is N one two seven five. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Yeah. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. Can you start uh, reading from here, please? The stick sign. Yeah. Salam. Can you start with Auzu Billah and Bismillah, please? Auzu Billah. Shimi Shaitan Rajeem. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. La. No, so it's not from the ya over here. Can you see the cursor? Ya. La. So uh, the first uh, ya has two kind of strokes with kapata and then uh, madda sign. So we will elongate it up to five, six seconds. So it will be ya. Ya. La. Yeah. So this. Lam never join letter like this. So in the end, it's joining without any other uh, shape. So it will be simple, straight a list. So it will be ayu. Ayu. Ha. Yeah, and you are joining. Ha. When you are joining with the next noon with shadda, it will be hanna. Hanna. Su. Okay, so uh, maybe it, it a bit, I forget because it's a whole line. Uh, just give me a second. We will practice uh, direct from the words. So, over here. Okay. okay. Can you please uh, uh, start reading from the first line, please? Ah. Uh -huh. La me. Well, uh, la me. Excellent. Well done. Next one. Bala. Yeah, so just we have uh, practice and uh, learned that early in, this, in the end, when we have straight line joining with the preceding letter, this is Alif. So okay, now read it. Ba, a, well, a, yeah. Who? Yeah. So can you read it ba, once more? A, who, go, who? Yeah. Well then, so over here we are belonging ku sound up to two second. Yeah, next word, please. Nu, ni, So this one is nu bi nun. Nu i nun. Can tell me which letter this one is? First, no. yeah, mu, bi, nun. Mu, bi, nun. Well done, excellent, mashallah. You read really well. Jazakallah, keep on practicing. Can we have next student? Yes. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Good job. Alhamdulillah. Can you start reading from the second line, please? Yeah, so it will be Next word, please. So 
to which stroke it has seen has yamada uh, so it is a vertical fatha uh, which we give open mouth we read it with open mouth and two seconds can you read it once more please mu say no it is mu sa simple we are reading seen sound and seen has fatha we produce seen sound up to two seconds with open mouth so we just ignore the ya because it ya doesn't have anything over here so mu sa mu sa so we give two second to mu sound because it's a uh, vowel matta and two second to sa sound because it has vertical fatha can you read it once more please mu sa yeah mu sa mu sa next word please ga yeah so it is balaga balaga yeah well then so keep on practicing you tried really really well and you know how to elongate so just a bit more practice with some of the elders with parents or your other sibling elder sibling and listen uh, keep on listening for all the students keep on listening the recording of previous classes as well jazakallah so, can we have next student yeah allah allah face allah face Yep, the next student is come on mute. N one two nine four. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. Can you start reading from the third line, please? Yes. Yes. Uh, from the third one, please. As per the hair. Well done. Yes, Bahula. Yeah. Next, please. Nairman. Well done, Hasha. Quite well. Uh, you, you long the letters quite well, and uh, the sound of the letters like "ain" and the other one. Just be mindful. This "ha" uh, is a thin one, not "ha" thin, thick one. So, just try to read it a bit lightly, not from the middle of the throat, just upper part of the throat. So, mashallah, you tried really, really well, and your pronunciation is. So, I'm really happy your "ain" sound. So, mashallah. So, keep on practicing. Can you? Uh, Read the other three words, please. Azalna. Next one. Yufsiduna. Khalidina. Well done, excellent. So just just couple of things uh, when you are practicing. So this zal sound is bit thin one, so it will be azalna, and then. This ha bit thick sound ha ha, so ha li di. So inshallah, with the practice, you know how to produce the sounds. So mashallah, with practice, inshallah, we all will improve. Inshallah, jazakumullah. Excuse me. Yeah. Can my brother read? Um, which ID he has? A one two two five. Yeah. Give mic to him, please. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah. Can you start reading from the second line, please? Ullim na. Next one. Musa. Next. 
Ibrahimun. Well done. Okay, let's finish the line. Balafa. Can you read this word once more? Because there's no shadda. We produce each and every sound separately. Balafa. Well done. Next one. Mufsiduna. Tajri. Well done. Excellent. Mashallah. Both of you read quite well. And mashallah, really impressive. Uh, for all the students, I'm really happy. All the students uh, tried really, really well and shows you are practicing at home. So if we keep on practicing on daily basis and do our homework and super in the supervision of some adult and keep on listening the recording of the classes, inshallah, we will improve quite a lot. Mashallah. You read, both of you read really well. Jazakumullah. Can we have next student, please? Yes, the next student is A1228. Aslam How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. Can you start reading uh, just this line, highlighted part, please? Mashallah, you read really well. Just just keep in mind all the students. Whenever we are reading, whether it's a word or a line from the Holy Quran, uh, we start with Auzu Billah and Bismillah, Thousand Tasmi and Full. And over here, this Ha, Fi Ha, this Ha is thin sounded letter. So keep on practicing the sounds of the letter. Otherwise, Mashallah, you read really, really well. So you give proper time to each stroke. Mashallah. Jazakallah. Can we have next student, please? Okay. I'm just listing a couple of letters from each student. So every try to give maximum chance to each and every student. So can we have next student, please? Yeah. Next student is N1302. as alaikum. as alaikum. Walaikum as -salam. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Fine. Can you start reading from the last line? And this highlighted part. Wa started from Wa and stop over Na sound. Okay. Yeah, well done. You tried really well, but the first one, so we give two second time to who sound and uh, two second time to lu sound because uh, we have this wow mata. So can you just read wakulu? Because it's wow madda, because a preceding letter has a dhamma and wow has sukoon over it. So keep on practicing the madda uh, sound. It's lesson number 15. Everybody has that. So we are coming towards the end of our class. So I hope everybody keep on practicing. Excuse me. Yeah. Can my sister read the end of the wa? Uh, what's her ID? N one two seven eight. So um, N one two seven eight. Have you read anything in today's class? No, no. Okay. I'm... Can you give her mic so I'll listen a couple of words from her and then she will read the end dua as well. Okay. Auzu billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Well then, can you read first three words, please, from the first line? Ahlami. Well then. Fa'alquhu. So just who sound? Just one second. Fa'alquhu. Oh, yeah, next one. Mabi Mugi Nun. Well done. 
So just uh, stay on mic. I'll just uh, do the homework and then we will read the end to you. Okay? Okay. Okay. Homework for all of you. So everybody have uh, lesson number fifteen in their folder should have you have printed that. So it's a lesson number fifteen from the book, and uh, it's regard the topic is madda. So you please try to practice exercise fifteen point three and remember wow madda is. Uh, Wow with sukun preceding letter with dama. Ya madha is ya with sukun preceding letter with the kasra and alif madha is alif with no sukun. Simple alif plain alif without stroke preceding letter is with the fatha. And each madha is uh, we prolong that sound up to two second. So practice exercise fifteen point three and as much of the lesson as you can. So it's page uh, reference page number is from the book is page number forty nine. So can you read the dua and the translation please? Okay, I'll be lahim in a shaitan a regime. Bismillah, a Rahman, a Rahim. Allah, Merhamni, Bil Quran, a Razim. Waja al Huli, Imam, wa Nurawa, Hudawa, Rahma. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Great Quran, and make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. Jazakallah, Mashallah, you read really, really well. Just wanu, but we long nu sound, wanu ram up to two second. But Mashallah, you read really well. Jazakallah. So Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Jazakallah to all. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.